Hello, Wolfpack students. We are in the midst of trying to figure out who has what book checked out. So in an effort to make sure you know, I know we're all on the same board, I am going to have you guys fill out a Google form for me so that um, your teacher and myself also know exactly what books we have checked out. Now, I do know that some of our books are in our locker. Some of them are in our teacher's classroom, but some of them are at home. My goal here right now, we are not looking to pull them back in right this minute. I just want to know what's out. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually have you look it up yourself. And it's super easy to do. It's, it's really super simple. So right here, this is the website we're going to go to. It's bit.ly slash TMS books. Now, remember, when you're using a bit.ly, the, the things that are capitalized must be capitalized. And so when you see that TMS, you must capitalize all of that. So let's go ahead and go look at that real quick. I'm going to actually type that in right here. So bit.ly slash TMS books. And it, oh, you know what? And see, that's a good thing for y'all to see. My period didn't get in there. And if it if it does that, then that's what it is. And so here we go. And what it's going to do is going to take you to a very familiar site. This is something that you've seen because it's how you look at books in the library. And so here is where I want you to be. Now over here on the right hand side, you will see that you can hit log in. So I'm actually going to log in here and your username is your ID number. The same one that you type in when you check out books, when you eat in the cafeteria, that is what I need you to use. Now mine is a little different just because I'm a teacher. Your password is your birthday. It's the same one that you use to log into your accounts. So that's what I'm going to use to log in here. Now you'll notice that my first name comes up over here on the right. And you'll see it has a big red number one. Now guys, don't stress about that. That is because there's overdue books and it's trying to show you, hey, you've got something of concern on your account. I'll be honest with you. I'm not concerned because every single person, including teachers, students, parents, everyone has overdue books at this point. Not worried about that part. But what I'm going to do is if I click here, it's going to take me into like a, a menu thing. But actually, if I click on this arrow right here, the menu will pull down. And with that, I'm actually going to go to my act accounts uh, activity and I'm going to go to loans. These are the books that the library has loaned you. So. I'm going to go there and it's going to show me the covers and the title of each book that I have checked out. These are the three books I do. So what I'm going to do, your teacher has given you a link to fill in a um, Google form. So I'm actually going to go right here and show this to you guys real quick. So I'm, this is how I'm going to fill it out. I'm going to do that, that. Now guys on class period, you pick the one that applies to you. What it, when if when we, we were in school, which class period were you in? Okay. And once you hit next, it's going to ask you this. It says, after the following video, tell me what books you have. Now you'll notice I'm going to put in moving target. I'm only putting the title in the Port Chicago. Chicago 50. Now, guys, you don't have to put all that extra disaster mutiny in the fight for civil rights. I'm not super concerned about that part, but the main part of the title. And Patina. Now, let's say you only have one book out, then you only fill in the book one. If you only have two books out and so forth. If you have five, you fill in all five. Now, I will say, I do know some of us do not have books out. I want you to do this form either way. If you have zero books out, instead, don't fill anything in in this section. Just check mark this box right here. OK, so that's how we're going to work it. And then I'm going to hit submit and it's going to send it to my teacher and to me so that I know exactly what is checked out right now. Um, so that when we are ready to start um, getting books back in, then I have the ability to see who has what and what I'm looking for. Um, so that's how you're going to tell me how you find uh, what books you have checked out. Thanks, guys.